I'm going to show you how you can enable Active Directory account auditing. This enables you to track changes made to user accounts, as well as identify which user account made the change. So to start, I'm on my domain controller, and I'm going to open up the group policy management, and then create a new group policy object. I'm going to call it Audit Policies Account Management, but you can call it whatever you want. Now I've got the new GPO, I'm going to right click and edit. And then under Computer Configuration, I'm going to come to Policies, Windows Settings, Security Settings, Advanced Audit, then Audit Policies, and then Account Management. Within here, there are a handful of options that we can configure. However, the main one that we want to use is Audit User Account Management. So if I just double click, and we can configure the following audit events, and then select Successful and Failure. What this will do is if we come over to the Explain tab, it will write an event to the Event Viewer on the Domain Controller. Anytime a user account is created, changed, deleted, renamed, disabled, enabled, locked out, or unlocked, as well as when a password is set or changed, as well as a couple of options. If you want, you can also enable Security Group Management or any of these other ones. So the security group will just track changes to the security group when it's created, changed, or deleted, or a member is added or removed. So I'll just leave this as the user account management, and then close the editor, and now we've got our group policy. The next thing we need to do is link this. So all we need to do is drag this over our domain controllers OU, as we just need to apply this policy to our domain controllers. So now we've got our policy, and it is linked to the domain controllers. So if we close our group policy, and then if I just do a quick GP update, just so it forces the policy down, in a production environment you would just leave this and the domain controllers will get the policy the next time it automatically refreshes, but I'm just going to force this through for the demo. So now our group policy is up to date. What we can do is if we open up the event viewer, and then come to Windows Logs, and then Security, this is where the logs will appear. So if I now open up Active Directory Users and Computers, and then if I, let's say I disable this account, and then change the password for a different account, what we should see is these events now get logged to the event viewer. So if I refresh now, there's a couple of user account managements. So we can see user account was changed, the user account name was ad backslash test. It was made by the administrator account. And then we can see that the account was disabled. And then if we just check some of the others, we can see a user account was disabled. ad backslash test by administrator. User account was changed. ad backslash Danny. And then password was updated. And then an attempt was made to reset an account's password ad backslash danny and then the user account administrator now something to bear in mind is that if you've got multiple domain controllers the logs will only be written to the domain controller that actually makes the change and not to all of them so if you're trying to audit for a specific event you'll either have to check every domain controller or forward all these events on to some kind of logging aggregation application so that's how you can enable auditing of your user account changes and push this change to all your domain controllers using group policy